Thank God the sun rises later during winter. Still, these covers are so warm. If only I could just stay here for another five minutes. The sun won't rise for another hour or something anyway. Ugh, no. I missed yesterday's prayers. The mornings never start off right whenever I miss them. Like there's something cold and empty settling in my chest, like a curse. I mean, if I forget my keys and find myself locked out later, or if I get something stolen, or end up in a car accident. Okay, being dramatic now. Wake up. Let's start this day with the most blessings possible. Wow, this hijab really isn't flattering to my face. Maybe that's what it's supposed to do. Hi, the beauty. Basically make me look uglier. <sighs> Come on, dummy. This is exactly what is meant to stop you from worrying. Worrying about how you look to other people instead of what you say and how you act in front of them. That's what modesty is, right? I want to feel loose-limbed and empty of thoughts like this forever. Every morning, I go out for a run. I never run anywhere in particular. Always just somewhere around the bend. Door is open. Today was no different. I run for myself. For my body. To find my own form of strength. Every morning, I learn to catch my breath. Every morning, I remember. There is still a world out there. A world full of new faces. The world for which the sun will still rise. Okay, okay, you've got this, you've got this. I definitely need a bit of eyeshadow today, or else I'll look too tired.
too sunken around the eyes. No, not that shade. I'll get that off. Today I need a different shade. Something that makes me look alive, look professional. Yeah. Yeah. This one. I need my hat. I don't like being outside without it on. I guess because I feel like I'm playing a game with my femininity, worrying about how people will respond. I want to play the part of pretty woman, but I don't think it comes easily when your hair is this short. I don't mind my hair indoors. But I need to keep this hat on because I get worried outside. In public spaces, I feel hyper aware of other people's thoughts and perceptions. That's why I keep it on. Maybe I should take it off. But people will judge me. Well, I'm a person. Not a threat. And in posh spaces, in white spaces, I get this feeling like, take it off. It's funny because it's only a hat. I make dal chawal when I miss home. On days when the world feels too big, and I feel too small, and home feels too far away, I cook. Wash my rice, four times like Papa said. Bring to a boil, then simmer. Home exists on both sides of the world. Here too, I know where we keep the knives, the plates and bowls, the mugs. I know my way around this kitchen. It's important to remind myself of that on days like today. I chop things slowly, carefully. Muscle memory is a comforting thing and repetition feels like prayer. Make matchsticks, make perfect, slowly. I can take my time here. London is a city of speed and panic, but no one is watching me here in my kitchen. I don't have to keep up. It's never going to taste exactly the same. I still haven't got around to buying ghee. But the parts of this meal that I do get right, I carry them with me. No matter where I am, no matter who I'm around, and no matter how I'm feeling. The other parts, I'll get better at. Slowly. When this flat smells like onion and ginger and garlic and coriander. It feels like I've made the world smaller somehow. Like I've pulled the two poles of this planet together. It feels like the tugging and tugging of every day has worked. For a few hours when I cook. 
and for that I am grateful. Libraries are a safe space, with shelves standing like sentinels, guarding the secrets entrusted to them. I love the feel of aging leather and crusting spines, but I want my books how I want my politics. Current, relatable. These self-indulgent tales of proud white men on their quests to conquer don't satisfy me. They don't do justice to the myriad experiences of the myriad writers out there. I want facts and figures and stories that make sense of the world you and I occupy. Growing up, books were holy. If we ever dropped one, we brought it to our foreheads. But things have changed. What was once a friend is now a suspect in the conspiracy against truth. You spend all your time looking for something that you might never find. So I've decided that one day I'll put my own book out into the world. One day I'll read those words to 100 people from a stage and they will find a home in a space as lovely as this. about staying hydrated. All right, let's see what we're working with. flavorless. Uh, anyway. Hot, sexy singles in your area. All right, Tinder, give it to me. No, no, no. Oh, he's cute. No. No. I mean, he's cute, but will he actually want me? I don't know. Flavorless. Check for keys in my pocket. What if I need to? Check the tip. Run it against my finger. Press it to check. To check if blood will. If blood would. That blood can. Sometimes we have a choice. Wait for the bus or walk it. By the time I decide to walk, the bus rushes past, taunting me. Everything taunts me all the time. This body daring me to accept it, mocking and mocking me. The man walking towards me hates blackness. The woman who pulls her coat closer hates Africans. I know. Don't ask me how, I just do. Keep left, stay in your lane. I find breath. Check my phone, then check it again. It's easy to become the victim. Don't want to be the victim. 
don't want to be a victim ever. Another nameless face. Back home. Finally. My mother would scream if she saw me now, laying on my bed with my street clothes on. But night is here. Proof that I've survived another day. And there'll be another day after this, and another, and another, and another. And I know it's something I should be grateful for. Most of the time, I am. Sometimes the morning holds promise, like a flower in a child's wrist, delicate but easily crushed. Maybe tomorrow we'll have such promise. <laughs>